and welcome to Cafe Astro Athens. Over this glass of iced red eye today, I am going to discuss the most luminous study ever done on quasars. Cheers. Now much like my iced red eye here, which is coffee with a shot of espresso, the most strong coffee order you can get from, say, a Starbucks, quasars are extremely luminous. They're actually the most luminous objects in the entire universe, oftentimes brighter than entire galaxies. What exactly is a quasar? It's a quasi-stellar radio source, which is the area just outside a supermassive black hole found at the center of a galaxy. This most recent research comes out of the University of Science and Technology, China. And what's fascinating about this research is they studied eight quasars all at the same time. Time. This is the biggest study to the date of quasars. Now this research mainly looked at the acceleration rate in which stellar debris was falling into the supermassive black hole. The reason they wanted to look at this was because if they can determine just how fast the stars and all the stellar debris are falling into the supermassive black hole, then they can determine the age of the quasar. A big mystery of quasars is how old are they? When did they first start forming? And how long will they live for? By determining just how fast stellar debris is falling into the supermassive black hole, researchers can determine this age. Now the reason quasars are the most luminous objects in the universe is because of the accretion disk that is orbiting just before the event horizon that's just before the black hole. So you have the black hole, the event horizon, and then you have the accretion disk, and then you have the rest of the galaxy. Now what's happening here is the accretion disk is so luminous, it's filled with so many bright stars, illuminated matter, that when we're looking at the quasar, we're looking at this galaxy, it's completely obstructing the light in which we're even able to see what's happening at the black hole. The accretion disk has matter that falls into the supermassive black hole. And when it falls in, we're able to see gaps gaps between the luminous matter where it then looks like it's creating a shadow almost like an eclipse between the supermassive black hole and earth say if you have a line of like 10 people and they're all standing in front of a really really bright light and all you see are their silhouettes and two people suddenly step inward towards the light and they get closer and closer and closer what's going to happen is their bodies are no longer blocking the light they're now becoming more and more small and so you're able to then see through the other bodies of the people to the actual light of what's happening. Researchers were able to see just how fast that stellar debris in those gaps was moving away from Earth. So if we're looking at it, we can see that it's moving away from Earth towards the black hole. They were able to determine with eight of these quasars, the fastest was 5,000 kilometers per second. That's fascinating. This being said, knowing that it was 5,000 kilometers per second, astronomers are now going to be able to calculate just how old the quasar is. Once they can determine the age of the quasar, we can then have a better understanding of how quasars form throughout our universe, of how galaxy evolution happens, and maybe one day what the future would hold for galaxy collisions like the Milky Way with the Andromeda Galaxy, understanding supermassive black holes better, and peering more into the movement of our universe and the recycling process that's all around us. I hope you all enjoyed discussing this story with me. I think it's so fascinating. And now that I've had almost an entire glass of red eye, I have just as much energy and hopefully an acceleration rate as fast as that quasar. Anyway, till next time, cheers.